Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure in Imperion Galactic Survival. So, guess what? As of course you can tell by the title of the video, it's update 3.0.1. Um, I waited until the first patch because I knew there'd be some bugs and stuff they would have to fix with the the release of the next update and so yeah so you, they added something very important to me which is procedural planets and yeah so we're gonna check this out and see what else is new um, or at least try to see what else is new I know that there is a, the save game still there so I guess we could go back to that but I'm actually gonna check out the new features here so this is the the new start, I guess. So let's set that. Game mode. This is where you can turn it to creative. Uh, you can probably have... Oh, okay, that's kind of cool. Empty or not. Huh. That's pretty neat. And we can have a seed. Uh, for seed equals zero, all POIs and resources are manually placed. For seed greater than zero, they're procedurally generated. That's interesting, hey? So let's see what kind of seed we can create. Can we type letters? We can type letters. So I didn't read anywhere about there being a requirement of just letters and numbers or just numbers. So what should we do? What should we do? Let's pick something cheesy. YouTube, uh, four, six, or seven, nine, seven, whatever. Let's see what happens. Oh, maybe you do need just numbers. One, two, three, four. Okay, so let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve. Oh, eleven, ten. So it looks like you can only have ten characters. Okay, perfect. So let's do that. Start location. We can't really change that, so that doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, oh, I see. In creative mode, you can select starting location. <laughs> so what's the point of, of even having this when you have the survival mode on? So yeah, so this is the new planet, which is a temperate planet. And, we, and you can also take off your helmet now, which is kind of cool. They also added swimming to the game. And let's see what this looks like. Okay, perfect. So we are in the game. Runs pretty crappy as usual. It's actually not too bad. It just seems like it does. Maybe my sensitivity got reset. So let's go into the options. I hate doing this. Uh, I hate doing this while on, on camera. No, it's turned up. So I don't know. Whatever. They also added a mini map, as you can see in the top right hand corner there. So let's check this out here. So this is the vehicle. Um, oh, see, so I have to remap the keys because the usage. Uh, where are we? You still can't use scroll wheel for this, hey? Yeah, no. So helmet is U. We want flashlight is F. I actually want to change that. I don't want flashlight to be F. I want. I want the use, which, where's the use? Um, why can't I see it? Inventory map, control panel, scoreboard, primary action, reload, flashlight, helmet. Well, what the hell? That T key that, that you saw. Uh, let's see here, let's go through one more time. There you go, open use, here we go. I want to change this to F, and then I want to change the flashlight to the T key, I think. Yes, we'll change the flashlight to the T key. There we go. Because I like to use the F, which is the same as in, in Seven Days to Die. So, yes. Uh, this will be the end game hints. Okay, perfect. Oh, is that what I have it set to? I have it set to best? Let's take a look here. So let's turn it down to fast. See what happens under fast. Uh, okay, uh, runs 
better fast of course doesn't look as good like all this stuff just the textures on a lot of this stuff doesn't look too good I guess I can't pick this plant up so that's another thing I noticed with this planet where's the trees <laughs> oh man oh man oh man um, inventory I want to change that inventory key to the tab as well you might as well keep it the same as seven days to die so I apologize for going into this here but you know this is what we do this is what we do this is how you do stuff right so let's do that perfect okay tab so let's see here we can do the helmet so if we go you um oh there we go there we go ha ha i wish you could change your face but yeah that's cool so now i now i won't use oxygen so that's awesome uh, let's see what's in the craft here. Oh, we got some cargo, which is good. Um, that's plant stuff, right? Well, we can keep those in there. We don't need that per se. We do need to make our weapons. Um, all that. Oh, cool. It gives you some stuff. It gives you an oxygen generator already. That's cool. A core, ship core, or it looks like or any core some rations flashlight let's put the flashlight there maybe we already have a gun so why does it give us another gun i don't know <laughs> um, filler and flatten tool we also need a repair tool we need more ammo let's see here let's throw this stuff down here uh, that's for cooking the water the med kit we can throw here uh, we're gonna need to place these anyways oxygen generator I wish you could dismantle this stuff so that way you could use it effectively. Um, okay. Oh, I've hit the tab by accident. I'm used to using tab a lot. Um, let's see, I'm not close enough. Okay. How about. So we just were in that one. Okay, perfect. So that is that. Is there any oxygen tanks in here? No. Okay. So this ship is useless. So we got nothing on here on the planet. Looks like there's a tower there, way over there. Um, we don't need to create oxygen bottles quite yet. So what? We, okay, so let's take a look at the planet here. Looks like there's a lot of land, which is nice. Maybe this map generation would be quite nice. Uh, there's the other views which we can't access yet. Hopefully, one day we will be able to. That's awesome. I'm glad that they have this galaxy view because. Yeah, that's what's the important part is for me is to make sure that it's truly galactic survival right so hmm, what to do what to do so can, we can resurrect this ship we can build a whole new ship uh, we can do lots of stuff so I think we're gonna use this existing ship um, put that in there okay so let's take a look in here. Let's throw this stuff. Um, I think it's what? Shift click? Yeah, let's shift click this stuff into here. Okay, let's throw that in there as well. This is a fuel pack. Uh, we should make some more fuel packs. Um, we should make 10 of these, which will make 20. Yeah, we'll have to actually turn the ship on, unfortunately. Um, do I have a, a remove tool? I do not. So we will need to definitely build a tool. We need to build, what is it, this guy. Which we, So we need four metal components, one electronics, one cable. So let's see, metal components. Iron ingots and cobalt. Yeah, but we do need that tool, the remove tool, because that's <laughs> unfortunately that's 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 priority. So why to turn on? Okay, as uh, a P to bring this up. Uh, thruster we can actually turn off. I don't want that on. So uh, let's see F to get out. Now that thruster should be off. No, see, uh, this is one thing they need to fix if. If you turn it off, it should be off, not you know, with the graphic of it being on. Okay, so it's producing fuel, which I want. Okay, so now we need to you do the remove and repair tool. 
which is four metal components, one electronics, one cable. So four metal components. So I'm going to click on these one, two, three, four. Uh, see, and I forget. This is why you should be able to click on this, and it should automatically make the stuff for you. Um, but then what would be the point of all this stuff, right? So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I like this method. It's kind of clunky, but it works. We need that. We need to remove a repair charge. So we need uh, more metal pieces. Let's do 20 metal pieces. Uh, where are we? Wow, five ingots. It counts 10. So 10, 20. And so that means we can create couple of these one two okay perfect so now we need to make sure we have some drill charges we need metal pieces for that Let's see do one of those and then we do a couple of these drill charges uh, we already have a couple here. I, I didn't need to, and I forgot that these output more than they output three. So, oh well, we'll have a bunch of this stuff for a while. We do need to harvest more resources, of course, but that's okay. Um, we also need to make our assault rifle because right off the bat, I like to use it. You know, I will use this pistol, but the assault rifle is necessary. So, one electronics and five metal components. Uh, metal components. So we got electronics and five of these guys. These I'll put two, right? Okay. So let's go. Just one of those. So I miscounted. That's why we. Uh, that's why we have extra. So we got that guy to put there. I'm glad we have the fuel. Let's grab some fuel packs here. Let's double check the fuel to make sure we got it. Let's shift click them in there. Okay, perfect. So I tell you what, I'll be right back once this stuff is all done being made. Well, or it's almost done being made. <laughs> uh, we want to build an assault rifle, so what we're, we're doing. Then we need some ammo. So metal pieces and magnesium powder. Hmm. Okay, some metal pieces, so how many do I want to make for ammo? It uses five sets. So let's do that. Do that much. Okay. And magnesium powder we, sh we should have already. So I want to do this sweat. One, two, three. 5, 10, 15, 20, and I think 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Okay, and they changed the the ground vessel to hover vessel. Uh, these are called small vessels, capital vessels, and of course bases. So there's no real distinction, or the distinction now is more clear. You know, before it kind of wasn't between the ground vessel or the the ground vessel yeah the ground vessel this the the small vessel and so forth so you know I, th I think they changed the way that the hover vessels work as well they also have a height on them now that allows you to 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 alter and change and there's also a whole slew of bug fixes in this version so definitely something to look out for and definitely something to to check out um, but yeah procedural planets man that's that's a good step you definitely a good step so let's make sure we have all this stuff here with us assault rifle for sure uh, what else do we need I think we can uh, we need more of this stuff unfortunately we need more fuel that's gonna be our crux of everything so as soon as this ammo is done we're gonna go out and, and have a good time so so I'll be right back Okay, so I'm done the bullets, so I got those all with me. I'm going to put two oxygen bottles here because I'm going to make an extra small oxygen bottle, which is an O2, emergency O2 bottle. So that way, if you need to refill, you can. So I'm kind of glad they did that. That's awesome. So 
it makes that survival that much more important. And if you notice, my food's up. I ate those corn dogs we picked up. And we have this work light here. Let's kind of take a look what the work light does here in one moment. Perfect. Got an oxygen bottle. Throw that right here. Okay, let's see how good this work light is. Uh, it's really dark. I will be doing some fancy editing because that's just the way to go. You, you have to. Let's go put it right here. Let's see what it looks like now. Bang. Okay. Well, that works. There's light. So we definitely need to do some exploring here. Oh, man. Sucks. <laughs> no resources whatsoever. So we need to... Let's see. So while we need to put our water... Our oxygen generator. Where's the closest spot? So it's kind of... What's the... Oh, yeah. That's the light. So what's over here? We could build on that little island there. Um, is this the closest spot? I almost don't want to place this, but we could always rebuild it after we place it, I think. Um, we should be able to place it like this, maybe. Uh, how deep do we have to be? Oh. Okay, let's see. Can we place it? Don't want to screw up, though, right? Like that. Okay. And then we can put, what, just one power in there? Come on. And we go out. Dip. There we go. There we go. Now it works. So it's going to last for 23 minutes, looks like. It should produce some bottles. Perfect. That 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 O2 quality is always going to be the same, it looks like. Okay. Perfect. Well, I think that's it. What we're going to do here is I'll probably call this episode the way it is just to I just came on here to you'll be very quick to show you kind of this new version and we're gonna explore the map we're gonna head towards that tower there because we might as well kind of you try and scavenge for some resources over there and hopefully we'll find some materials as we go along and if not well this is gonna make make Empyreon Galactic Survival even that much more difficult but yeah, but thank you everybody for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode of Empyreon. So yeah, so have a great day.